legal templates versus paid legal templates. What are the differences or are there any differences at all? Free legal templates, you might think, gosh, because they're free, I need to get my hands on them because I want to save myself hundreds if not thousands of dollars. I don't want to hire a lawyer. I don't even know a lawyer. I'd have to go through the time to find a lawyer and then speak to the lawyer. So maybe a free template is for me, especially if all I had to do was Google it. Well, is that the right move? Is it the right strategy to get something for free? There's a saying in Spanish that says, lo barato sale caro. If it's cheap, then it might turn out to be an expensive move in the long run. So there's difference number one. If you get a paid legal template, it is possible that it is customized to fit your needs. It might include specific terms, specific conditions that are right for your needs. But how in the world do you know if you need those clauses or terms included in there? In those specific situations, if you don't feel comfortable reading through a contract yourself and including the terms yourself, or maybe you're a beginner and you just want something basic, but that's kind of specific. So I want to make sure that I can get a contract where I can go back to the source and say, hey, I still have questions. Can you please help me customize this? So if you want a free legal template or you want a customized template, and you're a small business owner and you're thinking, I cannot move forward unless I have the right legal contracts in place, then make sure to scroll down into the description below and we will help you out. Difference number two, not all legal contracts are created the same. Let's say you're a graphic design freelancer or maybe you're a photography freelancer. You guys are going to have different language in those contracts. You're not necessarily going to have the same items included in those contracts. Why? Because, well, you're a photographer and one is a graphic designer. Each of those freelancers may have a different method. There's a completely different process. And so those are very, very important facts, right? If you already have a process, you want to make sure that the date, the time, the milestones and the deliverables are actually mentioned in the contract. So you don't want to receive some template that, first of all, doesn't even include those things. And second of all, includes things that are completely irrelevant to your business. So difference number three between a paid template and a free template is you know the source. You're going to see all of these websites come up for a free legal template. It could be a free photography template, a free logo design template. Any number of templates are out there, but do you know the source? And why is it important to know the source? If there's an issue with your contract, are you gonna know who to contact? More than likely that lawyer is going to defer to a contract that they have in their arsenal already because they know that it was written by a lawyer. They know what other provisions need to be included to safeguard you from undoing or protect you from a potential lawsuit. When you don't know where this template came from, then you get what you pay for. If you're okay taking that risk, which maybe is like a small business owner or a startup, then by all means, go for it. And again, I know that you may feel like, well, I don't really have a lot of money right now because I'm just starting. Well, make sure that you've at least researched the topic. Make sure that you are watching videos like this where you can educate yourself on the differences really between free templates and paid templates. I think that YouTube is a great place that has lots of information. If you want to learn more about being a freelancer or you want to secure some gigs on some inexpensive sites, watch my top tips for securing a freelancer right here. If you want to be a freelancer, then that video might help you get ideas about where you can post some of your services. Or if you're a small business owner and you need inexpensive services, then that video will help you figure out where you can go for those inexpensive services. But at the end of the day, just make sure that you continue to research and you continue to learn because the learning curve is never over when you're a business owner. So if you are interested in contacting me for any reason, I welcome you to do so. It's always free to send me an email. Just scroll down into the description where you will find my info. I look forward to meeting you and I congratulate you for being on this business journey. So if this video was helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to watch that video.